All right, let's talk about AMD and I will share quickly some financials. We will take a look at stock price and then I will share some insights that I heard from a sales person in the semiconductor industry. If we take a quick look at share price, we can see that AMD has performed extremely well over the last five years, going from about $11 to about $76 as I'm making this video. And if we take a look at the financials over the past years, they have reflected this growing share price. We can see revenue here growing by about 50%. If we look at the quarter here for December 2021 and the company being profitable. And then after that, we see 70% revenue growth, company is still profitable. And for the quarter after that, once again, we see 70%. So some very strong revenue growth and the company being profitable. However, in the most recent quarter, we see some slowdown of only 29% revenue growth. Can you imagine putting only in front of that number of revenue growth for a company of AMD size? That just tells you how hot this industry is right now and still profitable. However, this slowdown has punished the company's stock price in recent time here and as the broader market company the company has traded lower but i'm quite bullish on this sector as a whole and i remember talking to a salesperson in the semiconductor industry we had a quick chat i wanted to hear how it was working there and some of the things i learned was that the incentives for sales people the commission basically was guaranteed in the time right after the pandemic this was because demand was so strong and there was some backlog so you would sell it you would send the offer to the customer the customer would accept it would take some time to deliver on the sale and to keep the sales people happy they would basically be paid target salary it's an amazing industry to be in. There's a strong customer demand. And I mean, we see this reflected in revenue numbers, of course, but it's just interesting to hear the business side of it, how people working in the industry view the day to day. And taking a look at the industry, I think that short term, this whole demand supply dynamic will not change. However, remember, Intel has made plans to build out production. And I think that in five years, we will see a, in a change in the supply and the demand dynamic. This will be interesting to see how it affects prices. If demand is still outscaling supply by a lot, well, then it will have no effect. However, if we see a lot of supply flooding the market, maybe in the long term, just remember what happened in the semiconductor industry way back when Intel first was founded and then the big consolidation in the 80s and 90s. There was a lot of players in the semiconductor industry and now it's only a few. I think it's healthy for the market to have competition with a few big players. I hope it stays this way. And I think that we can see slightly above market returns in the short to midterm. However, in the longer scale of things, I think it will revert back to the mean as always, and we will see market returns for the industry on average. But, you know, that's just my opinion on it, my speculations. Happy to share a data point with you, some interesting information I heard from a salesperson in this industry. And as always, hope you make a ton of money, whatever investments you decide to make. Take care now. Bye bye.